the literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of athletes I've been around, Archie Tullis is probably one of the most humble people I have ever met in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Archie Tullis. Thank you so much for the privilege of being able to stand before you this evening um, and, and sharing this 10th anniversary celebration. Um, never in my wildest dreams would I think my name would be mentioned in the same breath as uh, coaching greats like Marshall Thomas, uh, Coach Ryan Vondette, and uh, uh, other inductees being honored here this evening. Uh, it's really quite humbling experience, and I thank you so much for the honor. Um, and it's just, it's just so humbling. Um, there were so many people who poured their heart and soul into my development growing up in Saginaw as a youngster. And if I had an entire hour, I still wouldn't be able to thank all those cherished individuals. Uh, men like Coach Lawrence McKinney, uh, who set the stage for my uh, development both on and off the basketball court uh, while I was under his tutelage at Heaven Ridge Elementary. Uh, Lawrence McKinney sacrificed his entire adult life uh, for the betterment of uh, thousands of kids in the Saginaw community. Uh, his community service uh, spanned over four decades, and I, I, I feel truly blessed that I pass crossed. Uh, men like Coach Leonard Adams uh, at North Intermediate, uh, who never let me settle for mediocrity. You know, he always pushed me to be more than I could be and I owe him a great deal of gratitude. Uh, and of course, there's, there's Coach Nor Wayne Reed, uh, who smoothed out the, the rough edges of my basketball talent uh, while I played for him at St. Mary's and also at Saginaw Buena Vista. Uh, Coach Reed opened up a whole new world to me as far as basketball goes, uh, something I had never, ever dreamed of, you know. One of the things Coach Reed always stressed to me was the importance of preparation. You know, he, he, he taught that it was not only important to prepare to be a champion on the basketball court, but also to carry yourself as a champion in everything you did uh, with style and grace. And, uh, you know, Coach Reed really was a godsend to me during my high school years. You know, many people don't realize, but when I played for him at um, Saginaw St. Mary's, uh, most teams that we competed against had far superior, you know, facilities to practice in. You know, as a matter of fact, most elementary schools <laughs> had better gymnasiums than we had to practice in. But, you know, that never stopped Coach Reed from preparing us to be the best that we can be on the court and off the basketball court. You know, uh, my senior year when St. Mary's closed uh, and Coach Reed got the position at uh, Saginaw Buena Vista, you know, it was so, I was so happy for him when he finally won his first state title in 1986. And um, a few years later in 89, he won his second state title. And uh, man, I was so overjoyed to, to see his teams in the early 90s win almost 60 consecutive basketball games and um, win back-to-back -back state titles. You know, that's a remarkable feat and I was so happy for him. Um, perhaps my greatest inspiration and also my biggest fan is a, is a man that was born in a small town in Louisiana. Uh, during his prime, he stood about six feet, 195 pounds of pure athleticism. Um, they called him Red Boy. Um, Red Boy, you know, he didn't get a chance to um, showcase his talent at the major universities, nor did he um, have the opportunity to earn a degree, you know, with many letters behind his name. But one thing uh, Red Boy did accomplish was, to me, was like a double doctorate in that discipline they called overcoming. You know, um, Red Boy, when he was nine years old, you know, he lost his mom. And by the time he was 13 years old, he lost his dad as well. And, you know, I can only imagine what was going through a young man's mind at 12, 13 years old. But one thing I do know for certain that um, in his young heart, he resolved that he was never going to give up and that he was never going to let anything keep him from reaching his dreams in life. 
you know, fast forward 20 years later, and a red boy's path would um, merge with a young, skinny kid from Saginaw. And that's where the discipleship began, you know, red boy, the master overcomer, and this little skinny kid, his protege. <laughs> uh, one of the things that um, really stood out about Red Boy was his ability to, to say and motivate me uh, just the right way. You know, I remember uh, being a youngster, 89 years old, and Red Boy would see me and sit me down and he'd say, Son, in his southern draw, you're the greatest thing on God's green earth, and there's nothing in this world that you can't accomplish. You know, and I just smile, you know, just, just full of pride. You know, I remember on one occasion in uh, my senior year in high school when we had a, uh, a big game against the inner city rival of St. Peter and Paul at the time. You know, and Red Boy sensed that I was a little nervous. You know, he, he just set me down. He said, son, I got all the confidence in the world in you, but, you know, I can't go out and play the game for you. And the coach can't go out and play the game for you either. So you might as well just go out there and, and do your thing and forget about everything else. Um, Red Boy was really special in my life growing up, and he still is today. Uh, he will always be my greatest inspiration. Uh, I only wish that everybody could have a Red Boy in their life growing up. Um, I, I, I brung Red Boy uh, along with me tonight, and I'm going to put him on the spot. Uh, Red Boy, stand up and let everybody see how handsome you are. <laughs> Red boy, uh, my, my dad, Archie Tullis Sr., uh, you, you done good, and, <laughs> and I hope I made you proud. <laughs> Every great thing that I ever accomplished in this world is because of you, and I give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. You know, people who know you may look at me and say, you know, I'm a chip off the old block, but I'm not. I'm just a splinter. <laughs> And one last thing, Red Boy, out of all the things you taught me, you know the thing I'm most proud of? I got your good looks. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Much love. <laughs>